An insatiable thirst has drained global resources. Gluttony has taken its toll on the world. Vampiristic irresponsibility is on the rise. I felt an urgency to interview brilliant and innovative thinkers and source their opinions as a way to inspire a future. I asked Tilda Swinton, who is in Italy, to mix into these interviews and help to stitch them together. In Mexico, Elena Poniatowski's writings shift cultural consciousness. You spent time in jail when you were working on civil resistance and strikers. How did you become involved in the student movement? I started working on, on really on civil resistance and on, on strikes. I went to see strikers and I went to see uh, poor people who had, uh, who had a, a, a relative in the hospital. And then afterwards I, was, uh, I went to jail. I took part in the students' movement and wrote about the students' movement in a, for a book called Massacre in Mexico. Why did you write about it? Because I was scandalized by, uh, by the government, because the government uh, said that no one had been killed and that nothing had happened. And Mexico was the only country, there was students' movement everywhere, in Tokyo, in Berkeley, everywhere, in France, in Jussieu, in Paris, and in Prague. And uh, the only country where, where students were killed was in Mexico. So that's why I wrote the book, you know. I was horrified. Why were you horrified? People were shot from, the, up, from up high, you no, know, from the roof of the buildings. Uh, people that were completely at the mercy. Uh, people that were just uh, in, a, in a meeting. What effect did it have? Did it change the character of government up until that time? It had a great effect and it still has a great effect, yes. Because it was the only thing that was published on this killing in, in 1968. I think people started defending themselves. There was so much indignation against the government that people reacted. And I think to react against injustice doesn't happen very often in Latin America, no? Suddenly, of course, there's a revolution, no? and people burst out, but usually people accept their destiny because the weight of religion is so, is so heavy, you know, because they, they tell them like the wobblies, you lead pie in the sky, you know. <laughs> Still, it was for you very courageous and brave to write that book. Well, I didn't realize it at the time. There's a, 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 a little sentence by Eliot that says, that man cannot bear too much reality. And I'm a person who, who's, who, who's not very in reality. These interviews, stitched together and remixed in time, shed light on the shadow of humanity that refuses to stay buried. Invention, optimism, sharing, and hope. That's the key.